Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury three three three, or this is Natalie the Don. I'm your host, Shadow Fury three three three, and we have another exhibition match: Google Frog versus Zanuck on Living Land. So this map should go over. For anyone familiar with Deadlands, this is Deadlands without the center metal extractors and with I think slightly well, they're more valuable these six metal extractors, but the center metal extractors are gone, which is a much better layout I think because it does not encourage the center to be completely holed up. But it does still kind of encourage the center. So it's kind of an interesting trade-off. You either have the, the corners, which are more defensible, or the center, which is a bit more valuable, and individual metal extractors, which is always important. It's bigger than one might think. And there's also some nice reclaim. These trees are actually worth some energy. And they look pretty, too. But mostly they're just worth a lot of energy. Anyhow, gonna have... So this map is, of course, kind of hilly. Bit of a bot map, although Living Lands, unlike Deadlands, makes these ramps pathable. Everything here is actually pathable to vehicles, except what looks like a cliff face. This stuff is not vehicle pathable. Everything else is, as well as bot pathable, naturally. So we see Google Frog actually going for Hovercraft, which is an interesting choice, though it makes sense given the pathing that I just mentioned. And Sanic, on the other hand, has not chosen their factory yet. What are they going to go for? Cloaky Bot. Okay, that's a bit more expected. Cloaky Shield Jump is usually what you see. Cloaky Shield, and then with a bit of Jump, is usually what you see on this map. Usually, you don't see vehicles because, like I said, they didn't used to be able to pass down here. And now they can. Not necessarily the fastest path, but yeah, it's... Actually, it is kind of fast. It's a very, very shallow slope now. Now, yeah, the purple also to the center... The center summit area they can't pass to, which isn't as clear. But these cliffs are very clear. So, okay, Orphelia's pointing out they didn't really succeed in speed mapping. So, like I said in the last game, for those of you just watching on YouTube, in the tournament, we showed Living Lands, and I was super excited to see it because I like Deadlands, but I don't think it looks as pretty as it could, and I don't think that it has the best metal extractor layout. This one has a pretty good metal extractor layout, though not the best metal extractor tile, or metal extractor image. And, I mean, it has a prettier layout, I think, although I would like to see a bit of more variation. Some of these things they look okay. I think normal maps would actually work really nicely on this map to make some of the bushes look like actual bushes rather than just discolored grass. And also in the metal extractor. The metal extractor points should always have normal maps on them. But apart from that, or de actually, could be detail textures or lack thereof. That's a problem. At any rate, this isn't bad. This is a pretty. This is a pretty map. It's just, you know, it could be a bit better. But anyway. Because it could be a bit better, Orpheus looked at it and just went, Orpheus looked at it and went, What the heck? I can make a better map in half an hour. And so that's what they tried to do. On yesterday, actually, yesterday afternoon, or my time yesterday afternoon. And it had a lot of technical problems. Not enough pre game testing. Or pre stream testing, rather. So it didn't quite work out, and Orpheus is saying they, didn't, they don't think they succeeded. And that's fair enough. But yeah, it's a technical difficulties, so it's kind of hard to say. So anyway, that is that. Let's get back to the game itself. Sanic is getting off really quick. We saw the harassment while I was commenting about the map itself. The harassment over in Google Frog's base, getting rid of all of their metal extractors, leaving them with only commander income. And their commander up front as well, not the most risky thing. They have a strike commander. Not upgraded, but still the strike commander is kind of hard to kill at this stage in the game, especially for cloaky bots. Six Glaives is enough to kill a commander, though. If they can push through these scalpels, they could actually kill the commander right out. I'm not kidding. Six Glaives is enough. I'm not really sure. I guess Google Frog wants to test Hovercraft. An interesting choice. Hovercraft are not the strongest factory right now. I think a lot of that is... I'm not sure exactly why. I think the daggers were nerfed recently. The maces were nerfed recently, that's for sure. But they've always been kind of a tricky factory to play well, mostly because their raider is based on getting about six or seven of them, and then just one-shotting everything. If it can't one-shot, then it doesn't really do much. And scalpels here... Oof, well, that works. <laughs> that riot cannon... Okay, these glaives have no chance of killing the commander. They can get rid of the scalpels, though, and they probably should, because those scalpels are being a real pain. Ah, Thought I'd get close enough to the scalpel to kill it. But instead... Is Sanic going past? No, Sanic is not going past. They're going to try to... Are they going to try to finish it off or not? Make up your mind, Sanic. Okay, I'd say or not's probably the better option until they get up, like, Rocco's. The Glaives are just donating metal at this point. 
Although it's not much. That riot cannon really rips them to shreds. Only 13 metal is donated after they die. Not that big of a loss then. Still, that's a big loss in terms of in terms of military advantage. There's no reason to do that. Sanic does have the economic advantage. They can kind of get away with it. But still, they're leaving themselves open. I mean, now this dagger can just go in and just wreck. They just wreak havoc. Just wreck everything. There's nothing that can be done about it. I mean, this warrior's coming in, but the dagger's going to get away. I believe it's the same dagger that was actually attacking before that got away from the glaives. I think... has it? It's not auto-healing yet. But yeah, that dagger got away before. And more and more scalpels coming up. I'm a little surprised Google Frog is going for scalpels. I'm curious what they're thinking is. They might be just thinking Sanic's going to go for warriors or going to go for Rockos, and they're going to win with scalpels. But Glaives would win. That's the only thing. Glaives would actually beat Scalpels if there were enough of them. But Sanic hasn't built enough of them, which is interesting. So I think that would be something to think about. Like, Sanic should probably consider... The, well, they can't really see that. They haven't scouted this out. They have no idea. Do they even have radar? They do. Okay, they have radar coverage of this. Oh yeah, and I can do this now. Yeah, Google Frog fixed that bug. Remember the bug I was mentioning before where the circles wouldn't pop up? Google Frog went and fixed that. Thank you so much, Google Frog. I can actually do this view again. So, they are fully aware that these are scalpels. Google Frog, sorry, Sandic knows those are scalpels. They know. They know what they're dealing with, and thus they, they would probably know they would be best off countering them with raiders. They are probably a little bit underconfident because of Google Frog's commander, though. That riot cannon, that's not something to contend with. Just don't even try. The Google Frog's still behind economically. Sanic catching up militarily. It's just they are losing a lot of units, but they can get away with this. Like they have the advantage militarily. Oh, they can just peg that off a few times. Like a few more times. That those rockers can take out the commander. That would be a massive blow. That'd be about a third of Google Frog's economy gone down in a stroke if they get rid of it. Actually, half if you count the energy economy, because that would be the new bottleneck. These slaves. Stopping more and more scalpels from getting in, but not great. Not doing an especially good job. This warrior's dead. Simply put, the warrior is dead. Has no idea what's happening, and it will now die. Goodbye, warrior. We hardly knew you. But Sanic maintains the economic advantage. They still haven't retaken... Why are they not retaking the metal extractors? Very strange. It's a common thing to forget, but it's also problematic to do so. Actually, how many do they have? They have two... One's over here, just idle... Yeah, that would be a thing they could do. Rebuilding, that is. The other one isn't... Are they... Oh, Google Frog, are they tick hunting, or are they just trying to set up... I guess they're trying to set up walls. Like, scalpel terraforming. Interesting idea. I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. They probably were just trying to go for ticks. And the Albert, my... One of the best units the, that the Hovercraft Factory has for support. Rush in, don't let anything else kill you. Well, eventually. Its armor's not impenetrable, it's just really powerful. I'm a little surprised, okay, what is Google Frog planning on doing? Because that, that halberd is supposed to come in with everything else. And down goes Google Frog's commander, and that's, I mean, that is still a big blow. Google Frog did get a few me other metal extractors before that happened, but still. Seven metal compared to 20? This is a really weird match. Although down goes Sanic's commander, but nowhere near as devastating. Does mean Sanic will have a harder time expanding up front, but Sanic has so much territory in the back they have just not taken advantage of, and a lot of territory to the side that they are currently taking advantage of, that I don't know what Google Frog really has. I mean, they do have a decently sized army, but right now, wow, less than 1k for both sides. This is a micro fight. This is going to come down to proper micromanagement. There are just too few units for it to not. Although Sanic does have the economic advantage, but even then. Reclaim is a thing. Reclaim is being used, in fact, on these rocks right here. All that reclaim. That is something to bear in mind. Actually, I wonder, why does that happen? Notice, if I... If I drop... Oops. Oh, no, not again. Ah, uh, seriously? Okay, we're not redoing that. Clearly, Sanic was going to win, and actually... Sanic did win that, but seriously, I thought that crash bug was fixed. What the hell? I hit three. That should be fine. That crash bug was supposed to be fixed. All right, well, sorry about that. 
Anyway, I have another match in just a moment. It'll be three matches of Google Frog versus Golda. First one will be on Apophis, the asteroid map, which I have not shown in a very long time. That'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned for that.